Here's the only tool you will need to remove a cast iron tub. And of course, you will not be removing it in one piece. These things are very heavy. And uh, this is the only way that, uh, or I should say, my preferred method of removing a cast iron tub. Now, before you get started, you are going to need to make sure that you have disconnected the tub from the overflow and the drain. And uh, after that, it's relatively simple. You take the sledgehammer. I believe this is the first whack I took at this thing. Might have been uh, two whacks. And of course, my pictures are a little messed up. Couldn't show you all of the pictures. This is uh, getting into it a little further. Now, I would like to point out that there is a lot of, I want to say, like uh, porcelain chips. They're almost glass. They're really sharp. Make sure that you are wearing safety glasses and uh, even a hat. Um, I've had this stuff hit me in the face with safety glasses on and cut me uh, instantly. Wear long sleeve shirts and gloves. Do not take the sludge hammer and um, swing it around these areas here where your hand or arm can get close to it. If you have something like this, might not be a bad idea to break it off or throw a tarp over it, something. You do not want to take a swing at this cast iron tub and miss or somehow um, uh, braze your arm or any other part of your body uh, through this uh, any of these sharp things. This is um, not something that I mean I, I took this tub out probably in about uh, 15 minutes that's because I was taking pictures but uh, this is uh, some it's dangerous this is something I guess that's the best way I could say it be careful I like to vacuum up the um, pieces uh, as I'm going you know, break out a section, clean everything up, break out a section, because it's not it's not difficult to swing. Like, I would clean this whole area up here before I um, hit it, hit the base of this with a sledgehammer, because it's not uncommon to have a little chip. You hit it with a sledgehammer, and it bounces off the wall, and uh, pretty soon you got a cut on you, and that's not uh, going to be a good thing. Again, you can see here, I've cleaned the tub and it's um, ready to be attacked again. More stuff here. Um, I'm, I don't need to clean this up. This is the last piece I need to chip out, and then I'll have the piece, uh, the tub in two sections that I can actually carry out. After I break this up, I'm going to clean all of this up before I remove all of this uh, or the sides of the tub because I don't want to be tracking this stuff through the, through the house. And this is actually something, even with me cleaning everything up, I still end up um, tracing some of this stuff through the house. Uh, there was actually a small piece in the kitchen. How did it get there? I have no idea. And this stuff travels far. This is the back of a bathroom. And um, then, of course, there's a door about uh, four feet away from the base of the tub here and then a hallway. And this stuff was in the hallway. And, and if it's carpeted, uh, you know, you're going to make sure that you put a tarp down to protect it. This was actually a wood floor that uh, I had, and so I could vacuum everything up. But this stuff was, I probably had uh, 50 pieces in the, in the hallway. And that's just from breaking this up. This stuff goes all over the place. So that's it. The tub is removed, and um, that is how I remove a cast iron tub.